Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, I am Shahid Ali Khan and uh, a researcher at the Department of Civil Engineering UT Peshawar. Today I am presenting my paper presentation as development of PY cars of our single pile incident using computer programs. So the content of presentation include the introduction to PY cars and that after that I will discuss about the background or history of PY cars. Later on I will come uh, to the models for PY cars in cohesionless style or science and after that, uh, the development of PY cars using the numerical approach. So finally, I will conclude about the research and conclusion and uh, finally the references. So the uh, first of all, I will uh, little, uh, little bit uh, introduce about the Pile Foundation. What is Pile Foundation? The Pile Foundation is a type of deep foundation used to transfer a heavy structure load to a deeper strata. So why they are preferable over the shallow footings or shallow foundation? They are preferable because of resisting a heavy transverse forces and bending moments. Here you can see that earthquake is a type of transverse force. So whenever the structure subject to such kind of forces, they experience little bit uh, bending moment as well as uh, the displacement. So to resist such kind of bending moments, displacements, there, any, there is a need of pile because here you can see that pile uh, experience uh, uh, some kind of um, some kind of deflection uh, whenever the structure undergoes uh, movement or uh, displacements. So they are very effective in resisting such kind of uh, loading criteria or loading phenomena. Secondly, here you can see that the tower, whenever subject to a wind load, they they cause some kind of bending movement in the tower as well as there is some kind of compressive and uh, uh, tensile forces. So pile foundation in resisting such kind of forces uh, uh, are very effective. So the, this is, was the little bit uh, introduction about the pile foundation. So uh, uh, here you can see that uh, before subjecting to such kind of forces, uh, there is uh, only geostatic uh, stresses around the pile or in the periphery of pile. Here you can see in the uh, cross section or your uh, section of pile, there is no such kind of uh, bending movements or uh, lateral displacements. But whenever the structure experience uh, this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of forces, uh, then they deflect and with that deflection, the pile will also undergo deflection. So here you can see that whenever the pile undergoes deflection, the front uh, side becomes very compressible and the passive resistance, which we can say, the passive resistance of soil becomes very high. And uh, according to the design criteria, these stresses should not exceed the lateral bearing power of soil. Because in resisting uh, such kind of stresses, uh, you should uh, uh, later on, or after the design of pile foundation, you should check about that whether the stress is generated here in front of pile during the lateral force uh, causing uh, some kind of stresses that is not uh, exceeding the bearing power of a soil. So you, one must check about that after the design of file. So it means that design of file is a soil structure interaction problem. You should uh, take into consideration soil and file both during the design. So how you will find about these stresses are uh, these kind of uh, lateral stresses, which are the integration uh, at this, uh, cross section. Here you can see that uh, stresses in this side got accumulated and uh, uh, this final resist uh, resistance can be obtained by integrating these stresses at that cross section. So to obtain such kind of response of cell there you need a PY curves. Here you can see the PY curve which is, uh, which is a function of deflection at any point. So with respect to this deflection at any point, at any depth, uh, there is increase of resistance and uh, it will increase up till uh, the final bearing power of the cell. Whenever it reaches the bearing power of cell or ultimate capacity of cell, it will get straight. So you should, up, uh, you should have a knowledge of these kind of PY curves at the time of design of file foundation. So that's why this research is uh, carried out to determine the PY curves in different uh, programs because uh, now, uh, till now, there, uh, uh, there, there, have, there are uh, a lot of studies on PY curves, experimental studies on PY curves, 
but the recent uh, development of finite element finite difference methods make made it very uh, easy to develop or uh, to determine the response of uh, soil uh, as a function of uh, deformation so conveniently what was uh, uh, the uh, determination of soil response conveniently the uh, the springs were used to determine the response of soil at varying depths and here you can see that uh, for varying uh, springs nonlinear spring there is a uh, uh, py curves and with respect to depth the response of uh, py curves or you can say the response of soil increases with respect to depth so uh, coming towards the background in the background uh, uh, what are the concepts behind the development of py curves so here you can see that uh, from various time to time the various researchers have developed uh, the uh, py curves for varying type of soil here you can see that uh, first of all the concept of py curves were, gave, uh, were given by the uh, energy company who built the offshore structure to resist the wave type of loads which are the transverse load secondly after that the works uh, of uh, scampton and terzaghi who gave some kind of recommendation on py curves a in early 1950s, after that, some modification and improvement were made uh, onward after 1970, which were uh, uh, such that no no, no inputs of nonlinear springs were required in the PY methods. And uh, uh, instead of that, PY curves were given as input to determine the response of soil at any given deflection. So, with the development of finite element method and finite different method. Various method, uh, uh, you know, they are uh, these these methods are very uh, widely uh, acceptable because the experimental setups, which are actual determination of PY curves, uh, in which the piles uh, uh, are used as an instrumented pile, and uh, they they get subjected to the transverse force to determine the lateral response of site, but they are very expensive and time consuming consuming. So instead of that, uh, nowadays the finite element and finite difference methods are very, very effective in determining the PY curves. So these are some kind of models for PY curves in cohesionless side, which are API sand, Reese method, liquefaction, liquefied sand, calcareous side. So for calcareous side, Dyson and Randall has some uh, PY curve, PY models, and also there are some recommendations by Novelli. So. Um, what we have done here, we have developed the PY curves using numerical approach, which are flex 3D and uh, all pile. So first of all, we have determined the uh, uh, comparison of uh, flex 3D and all pile for uh, head deflection. So corresponding to the applied load, which are sow keep load, the all pile and uh, flex 3D are almost give, give same result, but there is some kind of deviation by all pile. All pile give almost uh, 21% least response than the Lexis 3D, which means that it gives very non-conservative uh, approach. So if one can design the response of pile or pile by using all pile, it will be non-conservative because it gives very least uh, uh, deflection of pile. So uh, here you can see PY curves for, uh, was developed for uh, varying depths. So we have developed a two depths, which is uh, 20 feet and 30 feet depth. At 20 feet depth, uh, the response of soil here, we have included that uh, at 20 feet and 30 feet depth, uh, what are the deviation of uh, the all pile and uh, plexus 3D uh, for uh, determining the PY curves. But here you can see that this is the curve for uh, uh, a 20 feet depth for plexus 3D and this is the all pile response at 20 feet depth. And this is the plexus 3D response at uh, uh, 30 feet depth, and this is the response of all pile at 30 feet depth. So from result and conclusion, we have came about that the uh, from pile head deflection curves here, you can see that uh, it can be observed that the deflection graph of pile corresponding to south keep load follows same trend in both programs. They are both same, but little bit deviated by 21%. Here we have included that it, uh, all pile gives 1.3 in deflection, but uh, 1.6 in deflection is given by plexus 3D. So they are deviated by 21%. Similarly, the PY curves developed in both programs are of same trend and showing uh, increasing response with respect to depth. This behavior of soil response is absorbed from deflection, which is 
0.01 inch. These curves are developed for 0.01 inch deflection. So for the same deflection, R file give it, you know, gives least response, which is 30% and 35% for 20 feet and 30 feet depth respectively. Here you can see that the response of R file at every depth uh, is uh, less than the response of uh, Plexis 3D. So these are the references and uh, any questions regarding presentation.